Hello friends and potential friends. This is Jack from Geeky Gardens and I'm in my makeshift studio today mainly because I got mail. Uh, some of you may have noticed that I've been kind of missing in action for the last month or so especially in leaving comments on videos and some of the chats mainly because I was having problems reading chats or reading anything. Most of my YouTube viewing has been up on the big screen TV where it's practically impossible to leave a comment. See, a few years ago I had a cataract removed from one of my eyes and everything was fine until about two, two, three, two to three months ago things started getting a little foggy again. So I had to go in for a laser treatment on that eye to make some corrections and I figured while I was at it I'd go ahead and have the cataract taken out of the other eye. I had that second eye surgery about two, two and a half weeks ago, and at my first follow-up appointment after the surgery, I was able to read the bottom line on every chart they gave me. So basically, at a distance, my eyes are back to 2020, and I'll probably be using cheaters for reading and up-close work, but I can deal with that. Uh, as a coincidence, the day after I had the surgery, primary hard drive on my desktop decided to crash. That put me onto my laptop or the big screen TV for any of my online work and slowed me down quite a bit. But I figured since I had to go into the box anyway I'd go ahead and do some upgrades. And got everything put back together. Spent the morning yesterday re reinstalling and configuring my so studio equipment and software and now I'm hoping that I'm back in operation so let's get on to it the first channel I want to spotlight is my friend Cindy at my lazy day garden uh, she's turned her uh, urban or suburban property into a, a very nice garden she grows a lot of nice things and uh, considering that she's up in uh, Missouri and dealing with snow right now incidentally uh, She does a wonderful job if you haven't checked her out make sure you do so That's my lazy day garden on YouTube, and I'll give you a link in the description below to her channel uh, I owe Cindy an apology last July she sent me some seeds and uh, I don't think I ever did a video to thank her for them but I'm going to cover that now, mainly because last week she sent me some more seeds. So let's start off with the July seeds. Uh, she sent me two different varieties of pepper. The first being Ajvarsky peppers. And the second one was Corbachi peppers. Now to be fair, she, it looks like there's only a few seeds in there. And that's because I've already taken some out and put them in my germination trays. And I've already got some a few of the seeds germinating for both of those varieties. They'll be going in, I think I've already put a couple of them into my yogurt cups. And I've got a few more that I need to get moved into soil here pretty quick. Now last week, she sent me Everglades tomatoes. These are real nice. I heard about them on another YouTube channel and supposedly this variety has been bred to handle the heat in Florida. So I'm really looking forward to that. Most years my tomatoes die off about June or July because they can't handle the heat. Which is one of the reasons that I tend to plant tomatoes through the winter. Another variety that she sent me is a homestead tomato. Now, I haven't heard about that one before, but I'm really looking forward to growing it. Cindy says that she, she's been happy with both of these varieties, so I think I'm going to be happy with them too. So, Cindy, thank you very much. I do appreciate it, and I look forward to Now, the next channel that I want to spotlight is uh, UT33200. Uh, my friend's Angel... UT and Kiddo. They're located in Utah 
and on a very small light, lot I might add but they grow an awful lot of different varieties of things. They concentrate primarily on tomatoes and peppers and they usually do taste tests of all the different things that they grow. They've got a kind of unique uh, style for describing the different flavors and textures and such but uh, they also seem to have made it their life's mission to spread seeds out as far and wide as they possibly can and I got lucky this year and wound up on their list and received a package of seeds from them and it's quite extensive too let me tell you but again I'll put the link to their channel in the description below and if you've never been to their channel go check them out I think you'll be happily surprised and also incidentally I mentioned they grow a lot of things in a small space so they tend to do a lot of container growing and that's something I'm going to be doing a lot more of this year because I'm running out of room in my raised beds my winter crop is still taking up most of the space out there and we never got a freeze so I'll be picking a ripe tomato in the next few days but check out UT33200 say hi to UT and Angel and kiddo and let's see what they sent me okay we'll start off with Jedi jalapeno peppers this is supposed to be a mild jalapeno uh, I think they've mentioned before they they do prefer mild peppers over the hot peppers but there's a little bit of both in this batch We've got a Buena Mulata, Buena Mulata, sorry my Spanish is not very good, a packet of lemon drop peppers, that's a hot pepper, oh the Buena Mulata is also a hot pepper, the Shishito pepper, this is a sweet pepper and if I remember right on uh, the video where they were taste testing that one, that was one of their favorites. So I'm really looking forward to growing that one this year. And then finally we'll finish off with the cherry bomb pepper, which is another hot pepper. We'll go on to the tomatoes. We have a Cherokee green tomato. That's interesting. I've never really grown a, a green tomato before, except all the green ones I have out in the yard right now. We have a Pilser Vess. Pilser Vesey tomato, another one I haven't heard of, uh, looks like a Black Beauty, yeah. looks like a Black Beauty tomato, Garden Peach tomato, here's an Amana Orange tomato, and something I've never tried before kiddo corn. I've never grown corn but uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out this year and that's called kiddo corn because their Angel and UT's son kiddo is the one who grows the corn in the family so that's going to be a fun addition to the garden this year. Now all of these seeds I showed you so far come out of the plants that UT and Angel have grown in their yard themselves. These are seeds that they saved they also sent me a few other seeds the tomato white tomasel or tomasol from Baker Creek Kajari melons yep I'm gonna try my hand at melons again hopefully I can keep the powdery mildew away from them We've got some Jack B. Little pumpkins, some cucamelon, and from the note on there, it looks like I'm going to be building a trellis. Might have to go get a cattle panel for that. And then we have some white icicle radishes. That's going to go good in my green stock planter. And finally, some butter crunch lettuce. Uh, it's a bit too late for me to be growing lettuce this year, but I'll be saving those for my next winter's crop. So again, if you haven't checked out 
uh, UT and Angels channel, by all means do so. I don't think you'll be disappointed. They grow a lot of interesting plants in their yard. And they give a lot of them away, too, along with the seeds. I think they just enjoy growing. And I can imagine right now the inside of their house looks like a food forest. But definitely check them out. Again, I'll have links to both of these channels below. And I don't think you'll be disappointed with either one of them. So thank you very much. And as always, I'll see you next time. So thank you very much.